Hey Sagittarius, as promised, we're doing a future love reading, Sag. Um, so this is really talking about your next relationship. So this is definitely for singles who are looking for love. Um, here's what's coming towards you. So Forever Young is here with love, language, quality, time, and signs and clues. So you're definitely, you may be getting messages from the universe that this person is coming in. They could be someone younger, but it's definitely fun. There's definitely a layer of fun and spending a lot of time together. Um, it's really funny too because the Six of Cups has come in for this person. So I do feel as if this person has been someone who has been in your life. In some way, someone you've known a long time. I don't feel as if it's an ex. I feel like you've kind of been on the outskirts of each other's lives. So, you, you know, you've definitely been, like they said, a witness to each other's lives, but not exactly in each other's lives. So you definitely know this person. I will tell you that. Um, disguise is here and proposal on the bottom so this is more or less what's coming this person is a soulmate to you um they're very playful i can tell you that this person's very fun because tease is here with dreams come true you know um yeah i don't feel like this is a, someone you've been in a relationship with i do feel as if this is someone that you're going to end up in a long term maybe even marriage with, to be quite honest with you. Um, yeah, so you're kind of have been on the outside with each other, not ever really involved, but kind of present. You know what I'm saying? And so, yeah, all of that. <laughs> all of that. There's strong Virgo energy here too, y'all. I will tell you that. Because underneath the deck um, is the Four of Pentacles, the hangman and the six of cups. So I do feel as if this is someone you know. Um, I feel like this also, this person has been through a lot in their life. You know, I, I do feel like that that is completely true. It also feels like this person's very quiet. I don't actually feel like this. I do feel like this person wants you. And has wanted you. I don't feel as if they have made a move up till now. So I'm not even sure that you're aware that this person is interested. Um, because this person very much keeps to themselves. Okay, I will tell you that. With the Hermit and the Moon and the Seven of Pentacles, they definitely want this. They definitely are considering what their move needs to be. Um, you know, and since the Moon is here... That just is like more energy of, you know, this person has emotions that they keep to themselves about you. But I also feel as if they, I feel like this is someone who's been going through a lot in their life. Or who has been through a lot in their life. You know, your connection to this person is interesting. <laughs> to be honest. Um, because I don't really, it feels like you know this person. But it also feels like you're not aware of their interest. Okay, I, I do feel like this is a person, like I said, who keeps a lot to themselves. Like, Ten of Wands with the High Priestess. I feel like this person is, um, I feel like they're moving towards you. They might even, like, they might be moving to in your area or you might... You might know them from work that you do. Yeah. But I do feel as if this person has kept their interests to themselves because they have a lot of responsibilities. A lot, you know, there's been a lot that they carry on their back, right? And how you meet this person is the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Wands. Interestingly enough. You know, so definitely how you meet this person has something to do with travel. You know, it it could be that you're talking about it. It could be because the Queen of Swords is all about communication. It could be that they let you know that they are moving to your area. 
Um, but travel is definitely involved here and we'll look at that, you know, because maybe you're meeting this person while you're on a trip and maybe it seems very unexpected to you. I don't think it's unexpected to them now because Virgos are planners, y'all. <laughs> The future energy is the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles reverse, which is really saying you're not going to be single anymore. That, you know, you're going to be with this person, that this is your person. You, <laughs> yeah. And with the Seven of Cups, the Five of Wands, the King of Swords, I feel like you maybe. I don't know. There's something about not really knowing whether they are right for you. But what's interesting is the King of Swords with the Queen of Swords. Like, like you, I, I feel like you're confused. I feel like you don't really understand because this person doesn't talk to you, right? Or they haven't talked to you. And, and, and then it's like, all of a sudden they want you and you're like, I don't really, I don't really get this because then we see the eight of swords, the two of pentacles and the nine of swords. Like, I, I just feel like you, you don't really understand it. You go, you go back and forth on it to be honest, but let's, let's do a little clarifying here, shall we? Let's do a little clarifying, Sag. But it's interesting because I feel like this person is a soulmate to you. You may not even know it, honestly. This person holds back a lot. They hold back, but they've kind of always been in your life. So, you know, maybe you know who this person is, Sag. Maybe you know. Definitely the Virgo of it all. I don't know what I think about Sagittarius and Virgo. Let's see. Oh, Two of Cups is on the bottom, Sag. Two of Cups with the Ace of Cups. The Page of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. Hmm. I mean, there definitely is a big, you know, possibility for love here. There's a big opportunity for love here. I do feel like you might be a little afraid because you've been disappointed in the past. But let's take a look at this Six of Cups. You tell me more about, okay, Six of Pentacles. Interesting. Tell me about the Six of Cups. And the high priestess oh i do i do feel the high priestess reverse now i feel like what this person has been holding in is their interest in you and it's been a huge burden for them it's been heavy for them but they are um they could even be be, be bringing you a gift um that expresses how they feel but I feel for sure like they're revealing their feelings to you. And I feel like you, I don't feel as if you know this. And here they are again on the bottom, the hangman with the lovers. Oh my gosh. And the six of swords. Maybe they felt like they could not like reveal their feelings to you until they were closer to you. Interesting. Oh God. Okay. Tell me about the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Wands. The Queen of Swords and the Ace of Wands. The Death card. Queen of Swords and the Ace of Wands. Page of Wands. They could have also been married or involved with someone else. But yeah, this person's telling you, I feel like they're telling you that they're coming towards you, could be visiting, or they are moving towards you. The world on the bottom with the seven of wands. 
and the Three of Pentacles because they're they're more or less telling you that they want to be with you and they're willing to fight for that. Wow. So tell me about the Ten of Cups. Eight of Cups, yes, they walked away from something. Which could also be moving. Oh no. I feel I feel like this person ended another relationship or or there was a divorce. Interesting. So tell me about the moon here. Five of Wands. I feel like they might be afraid. Um Seven of Pentacles. Like, they're... Seven of Pentacles showing up twice. Like, they're afraid to make a move towards you because they're afraid that you won't... Um, that you won't do it. That you won't be on board. So to speak. Oh, wow. Wow. Wow, Saj. <laughs> Let's clear this off and get some advice. And in the extended, I'll take a look at how this relationship progresses. Um, more about your person, your feelings, all of it. Wow. And even the timing. You know, swords usually, swords and blows wands for me are like weeks. Wow. Wow, Sag. Who is this Virgo? If you know who this is, make sure you let me know. Because it is not an ex, I can tell you that. It is not an ex, Saj. We'll also take a look in the extended at the signs for you so you'll know. Okay, so let's get you, pull you a love card. Oh my goodness. This is why I'm manifesting a new desk. I have literally so many cards on this desk. So how can you help Sagittarius in this love situation? How can we help Sagittarius? How can we help Sagittarius? How can we help Sagittarius in this situation? How can we help Sagittarius? Okay. Oh. This is definitely a union of hearts. A love connection defies explanation. And have patience. So there may be some waiting involved, but, and they definitely want you to be patient with this person. All right, Sag. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Maybe I'll see you in the extended. Toodles.